Thank you for joining me today. My name is Erica Randall, and I want to encourage you and lead you in a little thought process on hope and resilience. And to do that, I will read to you from the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. She has created these beautiful oracle cards. And the one that has been jumping out to me recently is the Maybon. Maybon is a time of year, it's around September 21st or 22nd, is the um, autumnal equinox. When it's an equal day and equal night, So let me read to you the Maybon. The subtitle is Shining Hope and Future. The Maybon is a child at the darkest moment, born when bright hope beckons you into a positive future, born out of what has seemed to be the most hopeless space you have ever been within. This card indicates you are now thinking magically. What you think, what you are, manifests about you at all times. Now with this new magical mindset, you begin to transform your life into one of delight and hopefulness and to uplift your companions with your vibrant, positive energy. When we allow ourselves to shine, We become who we were always meant to be. And by example, we encourage others to become who they truly are. You are a powerful role model for others. Keep up the wonderful work. You still have many experiences ahead of you on your journey. But this energy is now your companion and your divine inspiration. Make a wish when you see stars. You may even have a homeland among them. This beautiful card of bright optimism is full of the joy everyone feels when you are celebrating magical living. It is effortless and joyful to do this divine work. The Maybon is a child born at the winter solstice. So this card indicates a rebirth of positive light and energy after a time of lack. You are now about to receive great good fortune. And oh, how good the weight lifting off from your old self feels. Hmm. What jumps out at me is a statement. When we allow ourselves to shine, We become who we were always meant to be. And by example, we encourage others to become who they truly are. This brings to my thought, into my mind, several questions. You know, first of all, how do you shine? Who do you want to be? And if you're shining, what are the qualities? that you express. What would it look like if you were shining? You may even think of it as the elements. You know, fire, earth, water, and air. And where do you express the different elements? Where do you express your fire, your passionate self? Where do you express your earthiness, your grounded self? And, it, and the water is your emotional self. And the air, your intellectual and curious self. You may even wonder, when do you feel fully yourself? When have you felt fully yourself? Think about in the past when you felt fully your breath. Or right now, if you were to feel fully yourself, what would that feel like? Do you have something you feel called to do? 
So if you were being fully yourself, what practices, what habits would you have? What would your living space be like? Thinking of all these ways of shining, of course, the question begs to be asked, what is keeping you from doing this? What stands in your way? What is it inside of yourself that is standing in your way? And if you weren't standing in your way, what would your relationships be? both with yourself and others, and how would they change? Thinking about how we shine is truly an inside job. The shining comes from inside of us and shines out through our eyes, through our voice, through our aura, through how we interact with people. It's truly something deep inside of you. Take a few moments to just breathe and find and connect with that beautiful shining part inside of you. Who is this person? Who is this shining person inside of you? After you take some time to think about this and to breathe deeply, you may take some time to journal or draw something, make some artwork. And take a moment to breathe. Inhale through your nose. And then hold it for a moment. And then exhale. Again, take a moment to breathe in and hold it for a minute and then release. Breathe in one more time and hold it and release. you continue breathing, notice where is that kernel that shines inside of you? Breathe into that kernel, breathe into that place of shining. Connect with that kernel of shine. Notice it filling your body with its beautiful rays. And listen to what it has to tell you. Ask it who it is, what it is, how she wants to be in your life. 